Hello, it's Natalie, and welcome to a quarantine vlog. So, first thing I do is I wake up at 7, I eat breakfast, I make my bed, I get ready, and then I start my day. Here is the outfit of the day, or the quarantine outfit of the day. So, on top, I have this Hawaii t-shirt that I got at Goodwill, I think for a dollar. I know, it's super comfy, and I love it. I've not been to Hawaii, but that does not matter. Um, and then I have these shorts that I got at Old Navy, um, I think last summer. But I really like the worn wash they have. And so I tucked this in there and bada bing bada boom, that's the outfit. <laughs> now I'm sitting in my dining room, which is my current um, school space. It's also my dad's workspace, so that's what that is <laughs> over there. It's his computer. Um, so every morning after I get ready, I change out of my PJs just because it makes me feel more prepared for the day and like I'm actually going to school. And I usually don't do my makeup, but today I did it for your sake. And then um, I come down here and I plan out my day. So I made a schedule at the beginning of all of this. Um, and I have a uh, blog post that has this on it. And then I also have it in my Instagram highlight called COVID-19. If you guys want to um, check my schedule out and make one similar for you. Um, but basically I want to start my day by 9.30 and before that I want to get organized for the day. So I come down here and I write down all the new assignments that my teachers have posted for the day and I write down everything on my like catch-all planner right now, which is this big block pad. So I have my to-dos for each day and obviously I'm going day by day so I'm going to have way more than this. And then I have my to-dos over here that are personal stuff. So then once I get the day's worth of this, I come over here and I try to get these things done. So I'm just going to look at my Chromebook that I have and then look at um, all my calendars and all my teacher's assignments and just fill in any missing assignments I have. Now I'm in my Google Calendar and it is synced with Google Classroom, which is what my teachers use for online learning. So I have all my assignments and due dates in one place and I use Google Keep on the side and it's basically like a little sticky note thing and I open it in the Google Calendar and I look at all my assignments and I write down everything that I need to do that day. I go one day at a time, so I just look at the assignments that are due that night or the next day, and I write those down for my to-do list. Once that is done, I start my classes. So today I had some math work, I had history work, and then I had some Spanish notes to take. I just finished my schoolwork for the day so far. Um, it's, I think this is week three of having online learning and I've been able to pace it so that I can be super productive and have, um, the rest of my day to, um, work on blog stuff, Instagram stuff, and other to-dos I have to do. So, um, I think it's around 10.30 right now, maybe close to 11. And so I'm working on some squad things, so, um, I can't show you, so here's a blank piece of paper, but... I'm working on some I'm working on brainstorming squad projects for April and then I'm also printing out the spring cleaning challenge that the happy planner started today I'm printing that out and then I will be on their stories on Saturday sharing that day's um, spring cleaning I did so I'm also planning out what I kind of want to say and mention that day so um, I'll take you along for this. Just planning out the squad projects I want to do so I can share with you guys what that is. And sorry, buddy's being loud and barking. <laughs> um, so basically, I first was a topic-based one. So I'm doing a self-care monthly list. And so I sketched out the um, three photos, I, photo ideas I had for that. And then next was a lockdown tip. So this one's going to be for students. And so I was going to share my color coding system and basically how I plan out everything for online school. Um, the next one is lifestyle. So I have three lifestyle photo ideas. I think I'm going to go with the middle one. Um, so I have to do that one at some point. And then last one was your choice. So I'm debating between doing a project about documenting one good thing a day during this chaotic and stressful time or doing um, 
like scheduling fun activities based on my spring bucket list into my days, but I I I can't decide which I want to which one I want to do because it's this is kind of similar to something I've shared before um, writing one thing that happened that day. So, um, but this is kind of new, so I don't know. I'm, I think I might do with, go with the scheduling. Um, so now basically, now that I have planned this out, I have to do them. So I'm going to spend the next hour, I'm going to put on some music and I'm basically going to be really creative and, um, make these things, make them happen. <laughs> so I'll share with you guys the end result in, in little bit <laughs> so it's been a while since I checked in for this vlog um, I FaceTimed my friends for a couple hours and then I made lunch but I just finished my self-care list which is for my squad project so here it is I basically went through my wellness planner and looked at what I put for past months and so I just kind of decorated it more and I'm super excited to share this so I made that and then next I'm going to um, schedule some activities and do like a little monthly for that. So I forgot to vlog the rest of the day, but here are some pictures. So I read this great Agatha Christie mystery. I did some art and I watched Tiger King. <laughs> if you made it to the last episode, you know what this scene is from. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Bye.